Hey, welcome back to the RV Solar Channel. And uh, this week, like every week, we've got a special treat for you. Uh, we've got a Riverstone Legacy fifth wheel, nice high-end uh, fifth wheel coach. And we're already, as you can sell, as you can tell there, we're already making some major changes to it. I wanna share you, with you all about what we're doing. Uh, it's gonna be a 24 volt Victron uh, energy solar system. Uh, we're going to be using some new panels that we typically haven't used. The 250 watt Mega Pro panels from Rich Solar. We've been seeing those and uh, this is the first project we're going to be using them on. Uh, 24 volt batteries from SOK and a uh, bunch of other fun stuff. So let's go check it out. Yeah. JD is just an animal here and uh, he is just already taking apart a lot of this stuff. There, There's this shroud here for a generator and uh, these kind of half put together walls. Sometimes we- It came we, out pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, well, except for the adhesive stuff. Uh, yeah. Used on that generator box. Yeah. We got a lot of room in here. So the plan is, uh, before that, we had hardly any room at all. We should have shown- yeah. We well, can kind of see the, the profile on this- There you go. Edge piece right here. They had an angle that came down to here and then straight down that way, so. This is a new 2025 model, so we're living in the future with this one. It's, it's 2024 as of this moment. Uh -huh. We've got a couple months left of it. And, uh, well, not JD is not, but I'm wearing shorts here. I should wear oh. shorts. <laughs> it's unseasonably warm, mm. uh, mid-late October here, but it's mid-70s right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to put a big board there and uh, mount all the equipment to it, put the batteries down here. Uh, Riverstone was, uh, the customer had this custom, or made some customizations. Riverstone ran this wire from here all the way to the, um, breaker box. Yeah, the breaker panel for us specifically so we could do this job. We'll get out of JD's way so he can keep doing whatever he was doing. There's a couple of panels we got to remount once we, uh, put up the new board and all that, but no. not a big deal. I'm thinking that CAN bus system there looks awfully familiar. I want to try and tie into that with the RVC mm -hmm. Victron CAN bus system. You might be able to. That might be pretty fun. And uh, there's some of the existing equipment. Most of that's going to come out. We're going to try and save some weight. Wherever so, we can. Yep. I don't think we've had as much uh, Baron Zuki in the last couple of videos, but uh, <laughs> he heard me say his name. There, there they are. Uh, they've been playing and wrestling. This little guy here, he's just all tuckered out. He, he sits like that sometimes. All right, anyway, we're up here on the roof. And uh, these panels come on the RV. And we even talked to them about, you, you, let's just skip those all together. They said, no, when you get the, uh, I don't know if they call it the legacy package or whatever, when you get this high end, they just put these on there. You don't get any say in it. So is what it is but uh sometimes we try and work with the systems that's there when we're really trying to stretch our dollar but if you want to do it right really you want to try and use the same types of panels that run at the same voltages uh these are going to come off that's uh, long and the short of it so that's what i'm doing then we just ran our solar wires and we're running it through this port here which we verified is the gray tank all right we're up on the roof still uh, show you what we got. Uh, we're putting a pep wave, pep link antenna on here. It's got a whole bunch of cables. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we're putting a Starlink Gen 3 up here. We're going to show you how we're doing that. Uh, luckily, the roof on this thing is open and super easy to work with. I hope. Here's what I got going on here. I already made some holes, committed to that. Uh, right below here, you probably can't see it, but we'll take you down below so you can so you can see uh, there's a light that I pulled out so and then there's probably about a five inch gap between the top of the roof and the bottom of the ceiling down below and so this is just gonna go right in there like that and uh, there's some adhesive back on here we'll take off and I'll probably just do a ring of Dico around the edge I thought about covering all of it but then part of me thought what if this ever has to get replaced so let's, uh, so I'll just do a ring of die core around the outside, and then I'll also do a ring of die core around the outside, outside of it all. And that should keep that very well sealed. 
uh, then here for the Starlink, we ran that cable through. It's just an ethernet cable with their fancy plug on the end here through a, I had a solar port and I just blocked off one of the ends and we're gonna run that through there into that hole and then both of those are gonna fish. I'm gonna have to fish them over to this corner and uh, there's a closet there. That is where all the equipment is going to be. I'm gonna get these uh, ran sealed up and then I'll show you what it's looking like down below. All right, so here we are in the bathroom and uh, this is that light I was talking about. This is the vent fan uh, right in front of us. And uh, yeah, there's the bottom of that antenna. We haven't secured it down yet because I figured maybe things will go wrong here. Maybe I'm gonna need to move that, I don't know. Uh, but <clears throat> it was a pain in the butt, but I got a little uh, pull string or I'm actually using a solar wire there. I managed to get, uh, using an endoscope, I was able to go from there to here <laughs> and then I was able to pull one down then I pulled and then I took another scope and went from that hole to here. I was not able to go all the way there. It was just too much insulation and uh, may maybe better fishers than me could get it through there, but that's how I got it. So now I think I'm ready to pull there. And the tricky thing is with even fishing there is there is some aluminum strutting through here. You can see a little bit here. Maybe I can show you. See, there's uh, aluminum pieces there and there's some, basically it's like aluminum on the bottom or like a truss where you got aluminum on the top, aluminum on the bottom, and then you got uh, supports or cutouts in between and you kind of got to fish your way through it. Imagine that. So I'm gonna try and pull this and hopefully it works. All right, there's a lot less uh, cable here. So that means we got it in here. And I did have to smooth out that bundle a little bit more. It took me a couple of tries, but the hardest part was that it ended up making a ball of insulation there. Uh, not a huge one, but just definitely that's where it had the hardest part of getting through here. So then uh, I got an idea to make a little, like a beauty cover to cover up that a little bit, but the uh, customer is gonna have some equipment up here and here, I think. So it should work. Now we're onto a new challenge. Uh, always the challenges. So uh, this has a, uh, a touch system. It looks like it's called the BM Pro. I want to say there's a chance we can integrate the Victron Serbo GX with this, but we will see. Stick around to find out. We'll definitely give it a try. Uh, but this is the solar controller panel. But we're not going to need that. We want to put the Serbo uh, GX display here instead. And for once, I think we may be able to use this line to pull up the new line that we're gonna need or pull our line down, rather. Uh, but to do that, I think I'm gonna have to make this hole a little bit bigger because we gotta put an HDMI and a USB down through there one way or another. So I think, I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm either gonna try and fit a multi-tool in there and like notch this out a little bit and keep these wires away like that or uh, just put a bigger hole right next to it well and then still notch it out a little bit I don't know we'll see I guess I could chisel that could do that old trick too that might be a good way to go because I just don't want to nick these wires I wouldn't always call myself a smart man but uh this is gonna work here so I'm just gonna use this thin pry bar tool as a shield for the wires, and then I can get in there with a multi-tool. I just started a little bit. Uh, I think that's gonna work good. And then I'll probably still use a hole saw to make the hole at the end. All right. All right, down here uh, in the, we're in the pass-through bay uh, front looking back. And uh, I did have to make a second hole for the screen to come through, or to get the uh, HDMI cord through. And we plugged it into our usual extension and we're using a power uh, adapter to create the USB power to power the screen. Now remember, you wanna do that with these seven inch screens because uh, you can't do it with the extension. It'll burn up your CCGX, or not your CC, geez, your Serbo GX. I've been in here too long, I'm losing it. All right, and uh, ran that up along this little cable raceway and then came down into here, into this area. And this is that uh, brain box we're gonna try and tie into. I gotta see where JD put the other uh, CAN bus port from the old solar charger. 
think that's our plan to try and tie in with that. But anyway, uh, then I just ran this black cord here, this one that I'm getting the lens real close to. That's a power cord that goes to the USB adapter. Well, it looks like we got a lever nut coming loose there, but um, got a positive and negative power bus here. So we just tied into that to give it power and it should be good to go. And here's how the touchscreen turned out. Uh, if you want to see it working, you're going to have to stick around to the end of the video because we're not there yet. Well, we've been uh, working on this for quite a while, but uh, we're getting called in for dinner. Look at this guy. Hey, Bear. <laughs> Look how smart he looks. Oh, we love our bear. And, Z and Zuki, yep. Oh, that's his ball. Oh, bear going to get it. Hopefully, this is the last day we're working on this uh, legacy. No, Riverstone legacy. That's what it is. Uh, as you can see, we got uh, a lot of solar up here, but we got a lot more to get up here yet. Uh, I want to share a little bit about what we've been doing. It's a little interesting. Long shadows, even around noon this time of year. Got the uh, Pep Wave, yeah, or Pep Link, rather. It's a very peppy company. Uh, I got that installed there. I got a secure that line down for the Starlink. We got that installed there. I think that turned out really well. And then here, these 250 watt panels. We got six of them up here. And the other four just got delivered, so I'm gonna put brackets on those and get those up here. I think we're gonna do, do one, two, like that. And then three, four smaller panels. And then uh, five, six bigger panels again. And that'll go in the second set. But uh, one thing I wanted to mention was I was really worried about uh, self-shading from air conditioners on these, but right now I'm not. The only thing I am uh, concerned about is it's tough to it's tough to secure them on this back side here. Normally I like to straddle the panel, but with these I can't. So what I end up having to do is kind of lean over the panels a little bit, uh, which makes things a little bit more of a challenge. You know, if using better products is a little bit more of a pain in the butt for us. That's fine. It's better for you. Uh, you got to live with this. That's what I say a lot. You know, people ask, well, what do you think? Well, you got to live with it, not me. So uh, I want the most solar possible. People ask all the time, well, what should I do this or that? Always more solar. Uh, you know, cry once when it comes to this on the price and all that. Uh, yeah. And I think this is the right way to go for sure. We do have some changes down below. We'll talk about that here in a minute as well. So down below here, uh, we ended up scaling things back just a little bit, which is unusual when, uh, in a lot of our projects. Usually, if anything, uh, sometimes we scale things up. But the customer's doing some calculations and uh, realized that there's not room for a bear in there. No, <laughs> this is bear. He just, what's up, bud? He saw we were doing a video and he said, hey, I gotta get in on that. Okay, anyway, uh, doing some weight calculations and Realized that, you know what, I don't know if we have the weight for a second multi-plus. And so we dropped one multi-plus and two batteries. So what we're going to end up with is uh, more bare, of course. But uh, we're going to leave room and even the bracket, you can tell up there, for the second multi-plus. And we're, we're even going to pre-wire for it all. And uh, even our battery mount that we're building has room for two more batteries. The idea is, uh, let's get you know, let's get this installed that we're confident we're good on weight and then uh, uh, go through the scales and just see how it actually works out because we did pull a lot of stuff out of here as well. So let's see how that goes and uh, see where we end up. All right. All right. This guy needs some lunch, I think. All right. We're about done. And uh, let's let's take a look at it. Huh? We got a lot going on downstairs. I'm going to show you uh, as soon as we're done here. So before we do that, let me show you what we finished up, up up on top of the roof. First off, we got a bear sighting here. Watch out. JD, there's a bear down there. Oh, he's looking at me. Oh, no. All these solar panels in and secured. Uh, we ended up running, like I said, two lines of uh, six panels each. Six on this side, six on this side, running through the uh, vent cap on this one. And uh, that worked out pretty well. 
just did uh, sets of two. So basically every time we get a set of two, we parallel them together with a combiner and you just keep going until you get to here. And what's really nice about these panels is they have a 20 amp uh, short circuit rating, which means, um, I mean, we, I think we were well under that. I think we were only at 13 amps or something. So you don't need to worry about your fusing up here because they can't produce enough amperage to uh, cause an issue with the panel or the wiring. We do do protection down below and we'll show you that. But uh, yeah, this is about everything here. It's getting windy, getting late in the day. We're about done. Hoping to wrap it up today. And this is coming along down here. We've got uh, EC mains run. Actually, uh, yeah, we're, we're fully operational here. We just gotta connect up our batteries. I have a feeling JD is probably making our cables to go from here to the Lynx power in. And uh, yeah, that's probably about it. I can probably start wiring these up. We'll see. So, and then we're just gonna put a spacer in right here. Well, here we are. It's, uh, <laughs> we don't got much left of the day. Oh, there are the boys. They're playing. Uh, but we did get it done today, last day. So, take a look at it all in all its glory. Got uh, multi plus there, the two by 120. And remember that is special because it takes the full 50 amp two phase power and uh, makes all your outlets work in your RV so you don't have to pick and choose. That is super nice for folks. Uh, got the Servo GX, got our step down converter for our 24 volt system. Got uh, both batteries there. Got our uh, solar shutoffs and we've got the Lynx distributor. And behind there is a Lynx shunt. And uh, yeah, that should be working well. And I uh, got our batteries going. And I put a little block off plate there. That's what I just got done doing. Uh, that way customer can add a couple more if they want to. I don't have carpet on this side because the tolerances are so tight. I can't have carpet on there and fit a battery in. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, we put that cover on there. And then this is how the 12 volt battery is set up, which isn't a lot different than the way it was before. Because uh, all we did was we tied our 12 volt step down converter into that system and then this battery basically runs all the slides and the jacks and all that stuff. So on a 24 volt system, that's what I recommend you do. Woo, it's been a long week, long week. Uh, so from all of us here at Soda Solar, myself, Sean, uh, JD, uh, we got Zuki here and uh, where's Bear? Uh, there he is, he's taking a nap. He's had a hard day of running and chasing and barking and all doing just doing dog stuff so from all of us here you have a great day great week uh whatever you're doing hope you're having fun and uh if you're looking to have a little bit more fun with your rv check us out at sotasolar.com you spell it like that uh bear come here buddy come here hey and uh then you too can meet the bear all right we'll check out or we'll see you later bye